In this video, we're going to learn how to set up a property and get it ready for data entry by setting up its property worksheet. So the first step is you add property information here on the add property page. You'd put in what uh, the street address for the property is. You could add in the full address if you like, but you don't need to. Then you pick the property type. I'm going to select a fourplex and you tell us who the owner is. And then from here, you hit continue. On this next screen, all you do is just check mark the few income and expense items that are happening regularly on this property. Since it's a fourplex, the system's already assuming you're probably receiving rent on a monthly basis from four tenants. All you do is kind of go through the rest of these sections and pick the few things happening regularly. So if there's like a regular garbage collection bill you're taking care of, you would check mark that. You can always add your own items. So if there's something else you care about under utilities that's not listed here, you just say add new item and you can add it yourself. And if I had a gardener, I could check mark that. And obviously if I'm managing this property for somebody else, I'm gonna be charging them a property management fee. So I'll check mark that. Once you've set up all the common items, all you do is go to the worksheet. The worksheet um, is your main data entry screen. This is where you're going to put in the income and expenses for a property. It looks like a very simple spreadsheet. The rows are those things we checkmarked on the previous page. The columns are the months of the year. It's very easy to navigate. So if I want to go back in time, I mouse over this arrow and go back in time. If I want to go forward, I go like this and go forward. When you want to add data, it's as simple as put, clicking the cell. Like let's say I want to add my gardener expense for this month. I'll just click on that cell put in the amount, hit the return key. Now you can get more sophisticated and more detailed about your data entry and setting up your tenants. And we'll cover that in other videos, but it's as simple as that to set up a property and start entering data.